All right, Candace is with us in Indianapolis. Hi, Candace. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, I need some help. My husband has two jobs right now, and he's trying to figure out which one he should take. Okay. Um, the first one is where he is now. He is a maintenance supervisor. He makes sixty k annually salaried position, um, but their insurance is um, expensive, and it has a history of just um, increasingly the premiums go up. All insurance. Um, all insurance does. Okay, and so he just got a call back from a company that he was with before that he had he had left because he went to second shift there and it didn't work with our family, and they are offering him to come on um, at fifty six annually, um, and that's with no overtime. But they work mandatory seven days a week right now in their busy season, and he could make upwards of ninety k a year. And their insurance is um, about $120 weekly, where the other company's insurance is about $400 biweekly. Um, so he's just kind of torn. The um, the insurance doesn't uh, matter. The okay. question is, where would he rather work? Which group of people? That And that's where he's kind of torn as well. The The job that is calling him back is an hour away from us. And the job that he's at now is about a 20-minute drive. So, um, what, we're t- what, in- what takes him to where he wants to be t- five years from now? How old is he? He's 31. What's he want to be when he's 40? Uh, well, uh, he, <laughs> the last we talked, it was a supervisor, which is what he has now. But he's Well, that's not what he wants to be when he's 40, then. Unless he doesn't <laughs> want to grow at all. What's well, he- I... Go ahead. What's he want to be when he's 40? And uh, the last we talked, his five to ten year plan was he wanted to be a supervisor and a maintenance at, um, for maintenance and have a team that he um, was able to direct. Which he does now. Yes. Okay. In either of these jobs. Okay. Um, well, the job the job that's an hour away um, is what he would be an electrician for a main uh, a plant for this company. Oh, so he would not be a supervisor there. No, but the reason he's looking towards that position, that job is because um, it will allow us to get um, our debts paid off faster because of the seven um, days a week mandatory. So work side work. jobs. Okay. Keep the good job, the one that's close and pays more. Uh huh. And the insurance is irrelevant because they're both going to go up. They're both going to okay. be, you know, until Obamacare gets completely undone, you're not going to see your premiums do anything except shoot through the roof. It's what we've okay. seen for ever since it came into play, and it's not a political statement. It's a, just a freaking fact. And okay. so um, it, it's, you know, so that that's, a, you know, you're going to have insurance issues wherever you are. Um, uh-huh. The other job sounds like he's doing what he wants to be doing, what his plan was, and, and all he's doing is taking a step back here and driving an hour away to get some overtime. Okay. And did I miss something? No, no, that's exactly where we've kind of been kind of ping-ponging yeah. back. And yeah, forth I'm not going to take a step too. back for the opportunity to work overtime and drive okay. an hour, extra hour. So, uh, But what I would do is start developing a side game plan and say, okay, if I'd like to have another $30,000 a year coming in, but I'm willing to work seven days a week, what can I do on the side to start my own weekend thing with my skills that I have. He's obviously an electrician. He could do some things there. Um, you know, work, what can he pick up until he gets out of debt and then doesn't work? Because he'd only want to work the overtime until he got out of debt, right? He doesn't want to work seven days the rest of his life. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean, you can pick up another 30000 15000 20000 work inside stuff, especially with his skills. A- and okay. then I think beyond that, you need to ask another question, and that is, where do you want to be when you're 40? Okay. Not doing the exact same thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> I want to be growing and doing more. I want to be making 90. I want to be making okay. 120. I want to be, and why, and what do I want to do? I mean, you need to have some kind of a goal that stretches you and causes you to read and grow and learn and take classes and be better at what you do. And maybe you're running a bigger maintenance operation. I don't care. Maybe he's running an entire facility or something, not just a supervisor. I don't care. Uh, but well, let's lay out some stuff here that, that we're aiming at something, and then that also helps you make your short-term decisions. Does this take me to where I want to go? And that's where we are. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.